in this place you can see that I have I'm in the Firebase I have created a project and uh, right now I'm at the real-time database section and here I can uh, create a database click on database and do some of these things it is taking some time so right now you can see I'm in the real-time database uh, there isn't much in the real-time database if I want to uh, upload a text through using node.js uh, I, I need to do some things so first I can connect the app or connect the Firebase with the with my program with the Node.js and uh, I went to project settings and now you can see that there's uh, multiple options and here you can see this web this is for web to connect it with a yeah, web app I can give it a name let's just uh, give st and uh, register the app and in here you can see that there is some uh, code here and what I can take is this thing here you can see this part this is the firebase config uh, and here you can see apk API key auth domain database URL etc etc so I need to use this in my code for connecting with the um, with the Firebase and the code in the JavaScript code in here you can see I use this require uh, require with require I took the I take on use the Firebase module you can see here I wrote Firebase this is being imported or adding adding the firebase module and uh, what and then assigned it to fb variable in the next line you can see i have this initialize the app uh, and here you can see i called the initialize app function of the firebase module of the firebase module here you can see this I have uh, called the initialize app function and within that I have uh, you can see this thing uh, configuration or something so uh, where did I take it from here it is I uh, you can just copy it copy this part and add it to your code here and this is initializing or connecting the app with the firebase here in the next line you can see i took the database i took the database from the five fb module i took the database and then the next line you can see that i have uh, in the database in the database i have made a reference i made a reference named the text and then in that reference I have set a value or something so yeah in the in the I have set a string here caught a string named string uh, this text will be printed on the on the database so and the Firefox Firebase database you can um, let's go to continue to console and uh, real-time database here uh, that uh, that is string should be displayed over here over here to do that I need to run the file the file that the code is in this code is in which which is named firebase.js you can see this is a file in here it, uh, this file needs to be read I need to run this file on on the console on the uh, PowerShell or command line so if I click on control shift and then uh, right mouse click
I have opened the PowerShell and in here to run that file to run the firebit.js file I can write note and then fire b dot js and click enter and right now the code is running uh, that node.js um, so if I go to the browser you can see that there is an uh, there is a reference or there's this thing and there is this string within that you can see there's this reference and then on that reference this string is set that is what happened here in the firebase real-time database there's this string on the reference so I can make a child of that reference if I um, let's say click dot child and I can name the child here I can say just I'll just say child for now or forever maybe so and save the code in the PowerShell I can uh, press control ctrl c to sort of cancel the code or something oops anyway and now let's click note and run the file again after saving the code and and firebit.js if I run the code now, uh, the code is now being ran and uh, if I go to the browser, you can see it's there is this thing and on that there is this child and that child has this string in it. So you can um, do this kind of thing with the Node.js. In the situation that you do not have already installed uh, Node.js and NPM in your PC, you can search about how to install them on google and if you do already have installed npm then you can go to your command prompt and say npm install firebase it is to install a module uh, na a module named firebase uh, you can i you cannot you have already seen in the code that i uh, imported the firebase module so before that you need to install the firebase module uh, with npm there could be other ways but this is the way i have done it